All right, guys, when it comes to building your gaming PC or any PC in that matter, one of the components that I personally feel like can get overlooked would be your hard drives because there are so many different kinds of drives you can choose from. You can go from a three and a half inch hard disk drive to a SATA SSD, and now you can go into NVMe drives as well. NVMe drives has been the more popular option nowadays when it comes to PC building, and they are two different kind of generations that you guys can choose from right now. My friends over at Silicon Power have been gracious enough for me to send me not one, but two different kinds of NVMe drives to give you guys an ultimate decision in choosing what should you pick. Should you go Gen 3 or should you go Gen 4 for gaming right now? Let's get into it. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. And here I have two different hard drives sent over by my good friends over at Silicon Power. One of them is the SPA60, which is a Gen 3 NVMe SSD, and the other is the SPUS70, which is a Gen 4 SSD. Now, both of these are one terabyte models, but they come in different storage configurations as well. Now, just by looking at them, they look pretty identical, apart from the color and the fact that one says Gen 3 and the other one says Gen 4. But what in the world does this mean? And which one should you buy for gaming? Let's find out. So what you need to know about these drives are in its specs. The SPA60, which is a Gen 3 drive, has a rated read speed of 2200 megabytes per second and a write speed of 1600 megabytes per second. The SPUS70, which is the Gen 4 drive, has a read speed of 5000 megabytes per second and write speeds of 4400 megabytes per second. So on paper, the Gen 4 drive is over twice as fast as the Gen 3 drive. But how does this translate to load times in gaming? So to test this out, I ran a few benchmarks to see how they match up in terms of load times in games and also a few overall applications to get a good sense of how they work. Now please note that I used both of these drives in the secondary slot of my X570 AeroWiz Pro Wi-Fi motherboard, which is still a Gen 4 slot. The Gen 4 drive was recognized accordingly and the Gen 3 drive was read appropriately on the slot. Now both drives were used as primary drive with the latest version of Windows 10 installed. Now with that being said, let's see the results. Okay guys, so the result itself wasn't that crazy. I actually ran them a few times over and over again just to confirm these numbers, so I took the fastest time from about four total runs. It's clear that the differences are very small, and there's a reason why. Mainly, it's because the old and current games haven't fully utilized the speeds of NVMe drives. So although you might see a couple seconds difference, that might be due to the game loading different things each time, or it could actually be a background task taking priority for a quick moment. Now there are a lot of variables when it comes to your hard drive, especially if it's used to store your operating system. But the point of this is, as of right now, the differences in speed might be noticeable by looking at the numbers, but in real life, you might actually not notice these load times between a generation four and a generation three drive. Now this is bound to change very soon because of direct storage. And what is direct storage? I'm so glad that you asked. Direct storage is basically a new feature in Windows 10 and 11 PCs that allows your GPU to receive game data way faster from your hard drive to help eliminate load times. This new gaming technology has already been implemented on the new Xbox Series X and S consoles, 
and now it's here for PC gamers as well. Now this implementation has been slowly rolling out, but hopefully we will be able to see these games take advantage of this in the near future. The minimum required SSD for this will be a NVMe Generation 3 drive, but they recommend that you use a Generation 4 for ultimate performance. While you still can use a Gen 3 drive, if you're looking to get the best out of the best in terms of load times for your future games, Generation 4 would be the way to go. But that's something I'm going to cover when games actually start to use direct storage on PC. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on that. But as of right now, if you are looking for a drive for gaming primarily, I would have to recommend the Generation 3 drive in this point in time. Why? Because at this moment, you aren't getting a huge benefit in terms of overall performance compared to a Gen 4. If you are doing gaming, video rendering, and other heavy use tasks, then Gen 4 will be the option because you can have a faster and more efficient experience outside of gaming. And if you want to future-proof yourself, something I really don't like to say to be honest, because the idea of future-proofing a PC isn't really that logical, then Gen 4 would be the way to go so you can get the most out of the upcoming direct storage applications. Both generation drives have been dropping in price a lot, so that will be the ultimate factor in your buying decision. But honestly, right now, Gen 3 is still looking pretty good. A big thanks to Silicon Power for sending these drives out. I will have them linked in the description below if you guys wanna check them out for yourselves. They are both solid options for gaming and other use cases. They offer different sizes and configurations, and they both offer five-year warranties, so you know you will be getting a very reliable product. I hope you guys found this video to be very informative, and I hope it will help you in your buying decision for all of you. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit like, and also do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and we will see you all in the next one.